The role of AI drone technology in the Russia-Ukraine war has signified a turning point in modern military operations, and it's central to a new competition between America and China. And while military applications are grabbing most of the attention, there are many other emerging uses, including search and rescue, construction and logistics, that could also be transformed by new drone and AI technology. In this next sponsor segment, Cameron Chell, CEO and president of Dragonfly Incorporated, joins us live now to discuss the future of drones. Cameron, thank you so much for joining us. Just yesterday, the Epoch Times published an in-depth news analysis on the central role of drones in modern warfare. What are your perspectives on the importance of U.S. dominance in this theater and the current capabilities of China? There is likely nothing that's more impactful now in terms of the asymmetric ability for one side of a conflict uh, uh, to deal with the other side of a conflict. Uh, if we look closely at what's happened in Ukraine, uh, the drones and AI have been the determining factor for those uh, Ukrainian fighters to be able to defend themselves uh, and actually even make gains uh, against the oppressor. So uh, the U.S. has obviously taken note of this and is now very aggressively moving towards that capability. Uh, previously, uh, you know, typically in, a, in an area of, of active conflict, the most important aspect is, is owning the airspace. And that's generally done by organizations or, or com countries, excuse me, that have billion dollar platforms, manned aircraft, uh, integrated systems with satellites, et cetera. Now, quite simply, you can put up uh, you know, a number of drones and from 5,000 feet down, you can own that airspace. So this ability and this requirement to own the airspace is what's driving this low cost alternative and fastly changing um, uh, capability uh, into the U.S. forces now. Yes, and as one of the pioneers of the industry, can you share how your company, Dragonfly, which is on the NASDAQ, is capitalizing on what is a huge surge in demand for drones and the accompanying software that, that powers it all? Yeah, well, thank you for that question. And uh, Dragonfly is, is the oldest drone manufacturer uh, in the world. We've been doing this since uh, in Category 1 drones, and uh, we've been doing this uh, for the last 27 years. So uh, recently, we just received an order and were selected by the U.S. Army uh, to provide FPV, so first-person viewer drones, uh, to the U.S. Army in overseas locations. Not only that, but we were also selected to help the Army uh, build manufacturing plants themselves for these drones, uh, utilizing Dragonfly drone technology and expertise to train those personnel to be able to manufacture, maintenance, and modify drones on the fly. Uh, Previously, you know, procurement cycles within the U.S. Army took years and years. And in fact, even getting to this point has taken us a couple of years. However, uh, what the data shows is that drone technology evolves every 10 days uh, in the Ukraine conflict, for example. So the U.S. Army needs to be in has positioned itself to be in a situation working with Dragonfly where every 10 days that technology is being iterated, upgraded, concepts of operation, mission profiles are being changed. Wow, I can remember when a software release would take three to five years, now it's every 10 days. Can you give an estimation on what you see as the financial impact of the drone industry on the U.S. economy and, and potentially beyond that? You know, um, uh, I was a dot-com kid, and uh, I remember how we always talked about how this was going to be, you know, you know, twice as big and as, than anybody could ever imagine. And the reality was it, it took about twice as long or, or so for the, for the internet to actually proliferate to the way we originally imagined. Uh, you know, we thought it would take five to seven years and it's, it's taken about 10 to 15 years, but it impacts absolutely every single aspect of our life today. And so the reality of what happened with the introduction of the internet is it took about twice as long but it was a hundred, maybe even a thousand times more impactful on the economy. We see the exact same thing with drones. Drones are really a robot and AI enabled robots, especially ones that work in the aerial space, the 3D space, can collect data, deliver logistics, provide services and do things 
uh, the, greater than any other ro robot subset. So we completely see this as, you know, certainly it's taken twice as long. We've been here for 27 years, you, you know, uh, working at this, uh, but it will be a thousand times bigger. Uh, it probably, if not one of the largest impacts in, ca in causing uh, a deflationary effect or fighting against inflation because of the ROI. Uh, if we even just think in terms of what happens with logistics or the lower cost of uh, content conflict that's now happening, we see these real world examples of how the costs are dropped significantly, the efficiencies are, are gained incredibly with the use of drones. Yeah, it's so funny. I can remember playing around with my son 10 years ago on a soccer field, and now that's like completely passe, and we're actually seeing real life applications and, and far beyond the military. Um, Dragonfly actually has a drone featured in the Smithsonian. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, it's one of our, uh, thank you again for asking that. It's, it's really the ethos of our entire uh, company. So uh, a Dragonfly drone was the first drone that was credited with saving a human life. And uh, this happened when a, a single car accident in a minus 40 weather, uh, the person had a head injury, wandered from the car, was missing for six or seven hours. Uh, the search parties couldn't find them. Uh, they called the local authorities who happened to have a Dragonfly drone with a thermal camera on it. Uh, and they put the drone up and within 20 minutes uh, found this individual in, who had hypothermia and they were fortunate enough to save his life. Um, that drone was credited with being the first drone that ever saved a human life. And that drone and story and example uh, now sit on permanent display in the Smithsonian. Wow, what a great story showing the potential for this technology to better our lives. Obviously, what's front and center with the Russia-Ukraine war and the 10-day dev cycle is the military application. But as you said, it really could affect everything in our lives from you know, how we, how we uh, get packages to um, you know, really a variety of use cases. So as we start to wrap up, I actually want to throw it over to you. You have a crystal ball. Like, What does our life look like you know, in a few decades with drones as an everyday part of our lives? Is it, you know, are we, uh, you know, is it taking out our trash? What, what does life look like for the ordinary person? Yeah, they'll, it'll be as pervasive um, as an iPhone today, uh, drones in our life. Um, and uh, while that might seem, uh, you know, quite disruptive uh, to, to the current generation, uh, you know, you think about 10 years from now, you know, 10 year olds, uh, when, when they're 20, this, this will just be normal for them uh, as to what's happening. And so whether that drone is doing something as, as what may seem as silly as, uh, as walking your dog or accompanying your kids on their walk to school or protecting your neighborhoods uh, or providing data to uh, uh, construction workers or real-time data for things that are happening uh, inside our infrastructure uh, or ensuring security along the border. Uh, th all of these are applications uh, that will just be normal and automated for us because they can uh, work in a way uh, that's unintrusive to us. And it really takes you know, the cost of labor and the cost of collecting information down significantly. Um, an immediate use case that we see today is that Dragonfly, uh, along with uh, Brigham Mass, um, excuse me, uh, uh, Brigham uh, Hospital in Boston, Massachusetts, excuse me, uh, we're running their delivery program. So they're using uh, drones now uh, being implemented to deliver things like test case, pharmaceuticals, uh, even organs uh, are on the docket uh, to their clinics. So they serve about 1,200 clinics in the Boston area. And their delivery times are going from potentially hours or not even at all because of the challenging traffic situations there, you know, down to even minutes or 15 or 20 minute increments. And so even just that cost saving, that efficiency, the emergency response capability, these are all things where the, where the ROI is just so impactful that you can't not be moving in this direction. Yeah, there are so many opportunities for human betterment. It's indeed exciting times. Cameron Chell, CEO, President of Dragonfly, thanks for joining us and sharing your experience. Thanks for your time.